A group of friends, Sarah, Mike, Emily, and Tom, were eager for a Halloween adventure. They decided to spend the spooky night in a remote farmhouse rumored to be haunted. Excitement bubbled within them as they packed their bags with snacks, flashlights, and warm blankets. They envisioned a night filled with ghostly tales and laughter. As they arrived at the farmhouse, a shiver ran down their spines. The place was isolated, surrounded by dense woods and eerie silence. The wind whispered through the trees, creating an otherworldly atmosphere. Sarah hesitated for a moment, but the others encouraged her to enter. They were determined to turn this eerie place into a thrilling memory. Once inside, the friends unpacked and made themselves at home. They lit a crackling fire, its warmth contrasting the chilly draft that seeped through the old walls. They shared jokes and played card games, trying to ignore the faint creaks and groans of the ancient structure. The night seemed normal but shadows danced in the corners of their eyes. As the hours ticked by, subtle disturbances unsettled them. Whispers echoed through the halls, though no one was there. Shadows darted in and out of sight, disappearing before they could be caught. Unease crept into their hearts, but they dismissed it as overactive imaginations. They attributed the oddities to the farmhouse's age. The evening took a sinister turn as rain began to fall, heavy and unrelenting. The drumming on the roof drowned out their nervous laughter. The windows rattled in protest, and the wind howled like a mournful specter. The rain seemed to amplify the eeriness of the farmhouse, its rhythm punctuating the silence between their uneasy breaths. Exploring the farmhouse, they stumbled upon faded photographs and handwritten letters. The images depicted a family that once lived there, their faces etched with sorrow. The letters hinted at tragedy and loss, leaving the friends somber and contemplative. It was then they realized they were not alone in the farmhouse. Lingering spirits shared the space. The storm outside grew fiercer, cutting off any hope of escape. The friends huddled together, their faces pale with fear. The isolation bore down on them, intensifying their dread. Each creak of the floorboards and howl of the wind seemed like a taunt from the malevolent spirit that now controlled their destiny. Desperation gave way to courage as the friends decided to confront the malevolent spirit. They lit candles and set up a makeshift seance, hoping to communicate and find answers. The air grew heavy, charged with an ominous presence. Suddenly, a chilling gust blew out the candles, plunging them into darkness. The spirit was not pleased. Panic set in as they scrambled for their flashlights, hearts pounding. They tried every door and window, but they were sealed shut as if held by an unseen force. Fear gnawed at them, and tears welled in their eyes. It was clear escape was impossible. They were trapped in the clutches of a vengeful spirit. Driven by fear and curiosity, they delved deeper into the farmhouse's history. The letters and photographs revealed a tale of heartbreak and betrayal, of a family torn apart by tragedy. The malevolent spirit, it seemed, harbored a deep resentment from a time long gone. The friends were entangled in a web of unresolved sorrow. With newfound determination, the friends searched for a way to banish the spirit. They gathered items mentioned in the letters, hoping to offer solace to the tormented soul, but the spirit resisted manifesting in terrifying forms, a swirling vortex of anger and sorrow. The friends stood their ground, resolved to survive the night. The climax came in a thunderous crescendo of horror. The farmhouse seemed to shake with the intensity of the spirit's rage. The friends' hearts raced, their breaths ragged, as they faced the embodiment of malevolence. It was a battle of wills, a struggle for their very souls, as they fought to reclaim the farmhouse from its vengeful captor. In their darkest hour, a glimmer of hope emerged. Emily, trembling but resolute, uncovered a forgotten ritual that promised release. With trembling hands, they followed the steps, their voices raised in a chant that resonated through the haunted halls. The air grew still, and for a moment, it seemed as though time itself held its breath. The spirit, weakened and defeated, let out one final mournful wail before dissipating into the shadows. 
the farmhouse stood silent, its walls no longer echoing with torment. The friends, exhausted but victorious, emerged into the morning light, their hearts heavy with the weight of the night's horrors. They had survived. As they left the farmhouse behind, a sense of unease lingered. The memory of that fateful Halloween would forever be etched in their minds. They knew they had faced something beyond the realm of the living, a darkness that tested their courage and resilience. And as they drove away, rain still falling, they couldn't help but wonder if the spirit had truly found peace or if it still wandered the lonely halls of the haunted farmhouse. On a dark and stormy Halloween night, Sarah sat alone in her old creaky house. The rain tapped at the windows like ghostly fingers, and the wind howled through the trees. The air was heavy with an eerie silence, broken only by the occasional distant thunder. Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. Strange things started happening. Objects moved on their own, and shadows danced in the corners of Sarah's vision. Drafts of icy air would sweep through the rooms, making her shiver. Late at night, she'd hear faint whispers echoing through the halls, chilling her to the bone. One evening, as Sarah was descending the stairs, she felt it. A presence, cold and malevolent, lurking in the shadows. She turned, but there was nothing there just the oppressive darkness. Still, she couldn't shake the feeling of being washed. In the attic, amidst forgotten memories, Sarah discovered an old diary. It belonged to her mother, its pages yellowed with age. As she read, tears welled in her eyes. The diary spoke of a terrible tragedy, the murder of her mother, a crime left unsolved. Through the pages of the diary, her mother's voice echoed from beyond the grave. She warned of a danger approaching, a malevolent force seeking revenge. The words sent a shiver down Sarah's spine, for she knew she had to face this darkness. Determined, Sarah delved into the town's archives, seeking answers. The record spoke of a crime long forgotten, a case closed in haste. The truth was hidden beneath layers of dust, waiting for someone to uncover it. Her father, estranged and haunted by his own demons, held the answers she sought. In a dimly lit room, he confessed to secrets that tore at the fabric of her reality. Her mother's death was not as it seemed, and the truth was more horrifying than she could have imagined. The puzzle pieces clicked together. Her mother's murderer had made a pact with dark forces, binding the vengeful spirit to a curse. Sarah's heart raced, for she knew she had to break this unholy bond before it was too late. With the clock ticking, Sarah sought out a local paranormal expert. Together, they embarked on a perilous journey, following the trail of cursed relics scattered across the town. Each step brought them closer to freeing her mother's tormented soul. In forgotten corners and hidden chambers, they uncovered the relics, one by one. Each artifact pulsed with an ominous energy and Sarah could feel the weight of her mission. These objects held the key to setting her mother free. As the midnight hour loomed, Sarah faced the malevolent force that had taken her mother's life. The room crackled with an otherworldly energy, and the air grew thick with tension. With every ounce of her being, she stood her ground, ready for the battle that would determine their fates. With the relics in hand, Sarah began the ritual. The room seemed to tremble, and a blinding light filled the space. The air grew still, and for a moment, time itself held its breath. The ancient curse fought against her, but Sarah's determination proved stronger. And then, in that sacred moment, it happened. Her mother's spirit appeared before her, radiant and serene. Tears flowed freely as they embraced, the weight of years of separation lifting. In that ethereal embrace, they found the closure they both desperately needed. As the storm outside subsided, a calmness settled over the house. Sarah stood amidst the quietude, a sense of serenity washing over her. The journey had been long and treacherous, but it was worth every step. She knew her mother was finally at peace. In the days that followed, Sarah carried her mother's memory with her, a beacon of strength and love. The rain that had once seemed ominous now brought comfort, 
a reminder of the bond they shared. With a heart full of gratitude, Sarah stepped forward into a new chapter, forever changed by the true Halloween horror story she had lived. In a quiet countryside town, where houses nestled among rolling hills, and the air was filled with the scent of freshly mown grass, an eerie shadow had fallen. Fear hung heavy in the hearts of the residents. No longer did children play freely in the streets, and laughter had turned to hushed whispers. The once welcoming town now bore a solemn silence, disturbed only by the occasional cawing of crows. One gloomy evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, old Mrs. Jenkins vanished. She was known for her pies, and her warm smile brightened even the dreariest days. But that evening, she left her quaint cottage and never returned. Panic set in, spreading like wildfire. Neighbors gathered, their faces etched with worry, wondering where dear Mrs. Jenkins had gone. Sheriff Daniels, a stout man with a weathered face, took charge. His deputies calmed the town, knocking on every door, inquiring, searching. The days stretched on, each passing moment fraught with tension. The community awaited news, praying for Mrs. Jenkins' safe return, but the sheriff's furrowed brow told a different tale. As hope waned, a second disappearance struck. Young Timmy, who loved chasing fireflies and dreaming of adventures, was gone. The town square transformed into a sea of concerned faces. Parents clutched their children closer, eyes darting around, fearing the lurking darkness. Rumors danced through the town like autumn leaves in the wind. Some whispered of a malevolent spirit, others of a stranger with a sinister grin. Trust frayed, casting a shadow over friendships that once seemed unbreakable. The once close-knit community now felt like strangers passing in the night. And then the rain came. It started as a gentle patter, but soon turned relentless. Day and night, it fell, a ceaseless downpour that seemed to wash away all hope. The streets glistened with slick reflections, and the once cheerful town was shrouded in mist and mystery. Desperation settled in, and the town council, with heavy hearts, imposed a curfew. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the streets emptied, curtains twitched, doors locked, and the town surrendered to an enforced hush. The only sounds were the rain's persistent drumming and the distant cries of night birds. At the edge of town stood a dilapidated manor, its timbers groaning in the ceaseless rain. It was a place long forgotten, a relic of a time when laughter echoed through its halls. Now shadows clung to its walls, and the wind whispered secrets of days gone by. Some believed it held the key to the chilling enigma that gripped their town. The lone figure emerged from the shadows, driven by a fierce determination. It was the investigator, a person with eyes that gleamed with resolve. They approached the manor, its entrance creaking open with a mournful groan. Every step echoed through the empty rooms, a haunting symphony of footfalls. Within the manor's walls, the investigator uncovered a tapestry of terror. Secrets long buried, whispered confessions of sorrow and pain, now danced in the investigator's torchlight. The puzzle pieces began to fit together, revealing a truth ghastlier than anyone dared imagine. The rain outside seemed to weep in sympathy. As the investigator turned to leave, a shadow emerged from the darkness, a specter of malevolence. The air grew thick with tension, a palpable dread. In that chilling moment, a dance of survival began, a struggle between light and the abyss. The investigator's heart pounded, matching the rain's relentless rhythm. In a final, desperate act, the investigator tore away the mask, revealing the face of the malevolent force that had haunted their town. The truth hung in the air, heavy and suffocating. The puzzle was complete, and the town would never be the same. With the killer unmasked, the town began to heal. Slowly, the sun pierced through the clouds, casting a warm glow upon the once somber streets. Neighbors embraced, their smiles tentative but genuine. The town had weathered the storm, emerging scared but stronger. The events that unfolded became a chapter in the town's history, a tale whispered around hearths on dark, stormy nights. It was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, 
a reminder that even in the bleakest moments, light could prevail. As the rain's patter faded, leaving behind a serene quiet, the town stood as a testament to courage and unity. The story of true Halloween horror stories, with rain sounds, would forever echo through the ages, a cautionary tale, and a testament to the power of community. Thank you for watching Whispering Tales TV. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. Get ready for spine-tingling stories that will keep you up at night. Let the whispering tales begin.